do, okay? And you are set to go. All right, so you've seen this before. Yep. All 12 of you who watch my channel. <laughs> this is Hotel Tango, bourbon ready to drink. Hotel Tango is a uh, really nice uh, small batch distillery slash cocktail bar in Indianapolis, and also Fort Wayne, apparently. Um, that makes their own booze, they and they have a really, really interesting cocktail program. So, uh, I found a bottle of this at Kroger, and this is something I found before I left for Peace Corps and left at my mother's house. This is called Amaro Meletti, mm -hmm. and it is a, um, where is this from again? I don't remember. Me neither. Oh, it's got saffron and caramel in it. Yep, but you knew that. Oh, it's on the Adriatic coast. Anyway, it's kind of a, um... It's the Maro, so Ferna Branca, Fernet Branca, but sweeter, uh, chartreuse, if you've had that, things like that. Um, it's the Maro, so it's a little sweet, it's a little bitter. Amaro means bitter in Italian. So I made myself a Manhattan with their bourbon, which is excellent in a Manhattan, and I used this instead of vermouth. And then my mom had an old jar of Morello cherries that I threw one in there. It's not really the right kind of cherry, but you know, but this makes a really good, an excellent rye man, or not rye Manhattan. It tastes like a rye Manhattan because this bourbon is hot and more like a weeded bourbon. So this is almost like a really good rye Manhattan. So buy Hotel Tango bourbon. No, I'm not being paid to say that. Um, if you can find Maletti Amaro, get that. But any decent Amaro would probably do the trick. I think you need to describe what a Manhattan tastes like. Because okay. many people are... Oh, if you've never had a Manhattan, a Manhattan is a, essentially, traditionally, it's a whiskey martini. It's Because many it's people bourbon. are afraid of brown booze, and so, you know. Yeah, you shouldn't be afraid of brown booze. Brown booze is amazing. This is, typically, a Manhattan is, uh, originally it was rye whiskey. A lot of people use bourbon these days. Um, and vermouth, with a cherry in it. Um, usually yep. about three parts bourbon to one part vermouth. Uh, dry vermouth, I believe. Uh, but you could probably use sweet vermouth too. Uh, I wouldn't. But this would be closer to a sweet vermouth, so I could be wrong. Uh, it tastes not like a martini because bourbon has so much more going on. It is, because it's a brown booze, of course, you get lots of caramel. Um, you get the sort of uh, raw alcohol taste, because this is a strong bourbon. Uh, but because of this, you also get some other flavors in there, like honey and... Well, the Maletian on its own, you said, had a floral taste to it, which yeah. I imagine you probably don't taste with. You don't really get the floral the taste bourbon. much there. Yeah, Mary said violets, I said roses. Um, you definitely don't smell it anymore. But yeah, basically it's it's um, it's delicious. It's a party in your mouth. Um, if you've never had bourbon by itself or rye whiskey by itself, this might be a good way to sort of ease yourself in. So next time you're at a bar, order a traditional bourbon martini. If you like that, I recommend the, the rye martini because rye is a much better... Or, sorry, not Martini, Manhattan, I'm sorry. Bourbon Manhattan. Both, both M-words. That makes yes. sense. Bourbon Manhattan. Manhattan, if you like that, try a rye Manhattan. That's my favorite. And then if you want to experiment, instead of vermouth, you could use this. You could probably, any, like, herbal amaretti. Mm-hmm. Or, sorry, not amaretti. Those any, are cookies. Any herbal, yes. How amaretti many of those have you cookies. had? I haven't had any yet. Um... Any sort of Amaro. You can experiment with various Amaros. Amaros are good by themselves after dinner, yes, just in they case are. you don't know. They're traditionally sort of a, kind of a digestif. Yep. After a big meal, you have a glass of this very cold, just a little glass, not like a big honking tumbler, because it's pretty, you know, it's pretty heavy. You drink like, you know, a shot, but I you like don't pound it, you sip it. I like water. I yeah. like Amaro with just the top of Amaro water. with soda water is good. Yep. But yeah, this is not a shooter. This is, this is a no. sipping drink, so... Yep. This is also a sipping drink. Do not pound your, your uh, Manhattans or you will fall on your ass because this is two shots of bourbon and about half a shot of Amaro. So if you were to pound these, uh, you know, and have even just two, you'd probably be pretty well lit. So there's a lot of alcohol in this. Yeah. Chin chin. 
Yes, I'm prosit.